Imagine swimming in the ice plains of Pluto, battling colossal frozen rocks in the vast expanse of slushy waters. Gradually, your body numbs due to the cold, your vision blurs, and suddenly, bone-chilling sounds echo far and wide. As you fight to keep your sanity, you descend into the oblivion of hellish darkness. Before we delve into the heart of Pluto, where the seas of floating nitrogen ice and glaciers lie, let's travel back in time to when this dwarf planet was first discovered. Pluto was discovered in 1930 by Clyde Tombaugh, an American astronomer. He confirmed a mysterious force in space after studying numerous photographs containing millions of stars. Pluto is the ninth planet in our solar system, about 3.6 billion miles away from the Sun, orbiting in the Kuiper Belt. This belt, located in the outer regions of the solar system, beyond the orbit of Neptune, is home to one trillion comets, icy bodies and dwarf planets like Pluto, Eris, Haumea and Makemake. Make. Did you know that Pluto was named by an 11-year-old girl, Valencia Burney, of Oxford, England in 1930? She suggested the name to her grandfather, who forwarded it to Lowell Observatory, and it was finally selected. The name Pluto is derived from the Roman god of the underworld, equivalent to the Greek Hades. Pluto is a complex planet with a strikingly dangerous landscape of mountains, craters, valleys and glaciers. It's only 1,400 miles wide, about one-sixth the width of Earth, making it exactly the size of a popcorn kernel when compared to the Earth. With a thick, icy exterior, it's orbited by five moons, the largest of which is Charon. Charon is half the size of Pluto and tidally locked in a synchronized rotation with each other, earning them the name double planets. Pluto is freezing with an average temperature of minus 387 Fahrenheit, minus 232 Celsius, featuring rock-hard ice plains and volatile mountains of nitrogen ice. Were you aware that Pluto appears reddish-gray, much like Mars? Pluto's atmosphere contains haze particles that scatter blue light. These particles are iodized methane and nitrogen. When they collide, they form ice shells that fall like snow on the surface, giving it a faint red tone. The surface of Pluto is dominated by colossal ice mountains, with the tallest reaching heights of 6,500 to 9,800 feet. These mountains are mostly comprised of large slabs of water ice, sometimes coated with methane gas. It wasn't until 2015 when NASA's New Horizon mission flew across Pluto and made rare observations that shocked the entire world. One of the weirdest discoveries included the snakeskin surface of Pluto. Hey spacers, before you jump into the nightmarish waters of Pluto, please click the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new and awesome space content. And now, get ready for the plunge into... Recent evidence from NASA suggests that Pluto has a subsurface ocean deep beneath a 1,600-mile, wide heart-shaped plain known as Tombor Regio. This region is full of fractures and craggy pockets from constant ice wear and tear. The Pluto Ocean lies at a thousand mile wide western end of Tombar Regio in a region named Sputnik Planitia, filled with fresh and bright icebergs. Scientists believe the youthful appearance of this basin is due to the slippery fresh ice which melts from the heat underwater and replaces the surface. Sputnik Planitia has a pure white surface that absorbs so little light it becomes a coal trap for highly volatile nitrogen ice. So if you were to jump into these frigid waters, you'd find pitch darkness with no possibility of microbial life. 
There are several speculations on how Sputnik Planitia was formed, but most astronomers agree that ice accumulation at this location pushed down its surface and led to the formation of the basin. However, Sputnik Planitia, currently centered at 176 east 24 north, is a huge depression. So, why isn't it positioned at Pluto's North Pole? The several kilometers of nitrogen ice formed in the basin were a result of higher surface pressure, which increased the temperature at which nitrogen turned into ice. Nitrogen ice is heavier than water ice, but this dense mass accumulates with the extra mass from within the subsurface ocean, creating this huge elliptical hole in the ground. But the plot thickens. Were you aware that Pluto's big ice-filled heart is growing in size? Recent data from New Horizons and ground-level telescopes discovered that the mass of Sputnik Planitia's formation is growing positively, causing the planet to slightly tilt askew into the present alignment with Charon. Pluto's unique tilt and its relationship with Charon and Sputnik Planitia are intriguing aspects of the dwarf planet's complex dynamics. To understand this phenomena, we must delve into a fascinating interplay of gravitational forces and celestial interactions. Pluto's axial tilt is quite notably extreme. It's tilted at an angle of approximately 120 degrees, meaning its rotational axis is nearly perpendicular to its orbital plane. Charon, as mentioned before, is quite massive and in a unique relationship with Pluto, known as double tidal locking. This means not only does Pluto always show the same side to Charon, but Charon also always shows the same side to Pluto. They act like two friends who never turn their backs on each other, always keeping the same sides facing each other as they move together through space. This special connection between them makes them tidally locked. It's like a cosmic dance that affects the whole planet's behavior, climate, and seasons. Sputnik Planitia is positioned in the center of a tidal bulge, the region where gravitational forces are strongest due to Charon's influence. Over time, the gravitational interaction between Pluto and Charon causes a wobbling effect in the planet's orientation, leading to its highly tilted axis. So, what could make these mega structures grow? Is it caused by the aliens or the oceans deep inside? Scientists are leaning towards the subsurface oceans theory as they believe that Sputnik formation in a giant crater is not a coincidence. The fact is that it has excavated so much ice from Pluto's surface that an ocean welled up from within the thin crust. When we combine this logic with Charon's gravity, which is thinning the ice crust about 90 kilometers below Sputnik Planitia, it starts to make sense. As the heavy chunks of nitrogen ice and mountains of water ice gather atop this subsurface ocean, Sputnik Planitia is growing abnormal mass. Also, each time Pluto goes around the sun, a bit of nitrogen accumulates in the heart, thaws the ice, and increases the ocean's volume. Let's go back to the ghastly tale, where the eternal darkness of space meets a frozen underworld. Imagine you are climbing an ice mountain, reaching 11,000 feet into the Pluto sky, from the surface that is 100 million years old. You feel a horrifying tingle at the back of your spine as you ascend each step, clad in a tight spacesuit, protecting you from the frost and toxic gases in the air. You observe faint red marks on the surface, confirming that you have climbed to the north of Pluto. Hurriedly, you take in the breathtaking views while fighting for breath, knowing that with each passing second, your oxygen is dwindling and your windshield is fogging up. You are memorizing every corner of the landscape that fills your vision, and then you start to descend swiftly into the heart of icy Pluto. 
As you descend into the icy abyss in Sputnik Planitia, nothing can prepare you for what lies below. As you navigate through the cobwebs of dense nitrogen icebergs, methane and carbon monoxide, you see eerie formations of frozen methane resembling monstrous icicles. But as you plunge deeper, the frigid temperature pushes you to the brink of hypothermia, momentarily paralyzing you. Pluto's ice glacier has trapped numerous methane bubbles, which occasionally explode, releasing fairy geysers of frozen gas. As you narrowly avoid one such eruption, your heart is pounding in the oppressive silence. In the distance, you spot colossal, menacing shadows of the broken hills carried by the nitrogen glaciers into the seas. Shivers rack your entire body as you gasp for air, but the nitrogen-rich water provides no relief. You are slowly suffocating in agony, and before you realize you are drowning, the sheer pressure of the slushy nitrogen sea makes your eardrums and chest ache heavily. It feels like you are crushed by a thousand mountains, and you surrender to the darkness. You are semi-blind now, and as your lungs struggle to wheeze oxygen, you suffer from brain damage and cardiac arrest in the same breath. The Pluto Ocean now holds you in a lifeless grip as you become an eerie statue lost in the pit of cosmic depths. And now, as we close the chapter on Pluto's mysteries, think about it. Is it just a dwarf planet, or could it hold the key to cosmic enigmas? As we conclude our journey, we realize that the cosmos is a boundless source of mystery and awe. Looking forward, the future of Pluto missions holds the promise of unlocking more secrets, pushing the boundaries of our cosmic understanding. Thank you for spacing out with us. If you enjoy this and other videos on our channel, please click the subscribe and the bell buttons to stay current on all the new space content. Thank you for supporting our channel by commenting, liking and sharing. See you next video.